Welcome to 5 Minute Monday. I want to talk about being a victim. I've been a victim and I know what it's like and I know what it feels like. Does it feel good for me? No. So why did I do it and why do I still find myself pulled in to being a victim? The kind of, oh no, help me, save me. In this place, there's a sense of powerlessness, a sense of, I can't do it for myself. And I really, really feel that when I'm in this victim situation. I really feel that belief that there's nothing that I can do for myself. And it is so compelling for me. So what I want to talk about is why it might be so compelling and what to do, what to do when you're in a situation and you don't believe that you have any power. So firstly, I want to talk about story. We know stories so well, fairy tales, where somebody gets saved. There's a princess and along comes the prince and he's riding a horse and he totally saves her. And then what? That classic line, they live happily ever after. So right from a really early age, we are taught that not only do we get saved, but we get saved by a prince and the ultimate ending is happiness ever after. So I want to ask you this, when you've been saved at any point in your life, was it happily ever after? I mean, I've been saved. I've been saved plenty of times. Has my life from that moment been happily ever after? No. Maybe for a little while afterwards, I get saved and it's just so fantastic. And maybe if I'm being saved by someone I'm in a relationship with, we're like totally loved up for a day or a week. Or if I get saved from someone at work, work is just really fantastic and I feel on top of the world. But then slowly that happily ever after starts to dip. The aftermath of being rescued and all that delight and joy, it slowly begins to fade. So what do I do next? I think, oh, well, where's the happily ever after gone? And then my brain says, well, I've learned how to get this. I've learned how to get the happily ever after. I have to play the victim. I have to get saved. So then we find ourselves coming down, we find our voice kind of getting a bit victim -y, and we do what we know best to get that happily ever after. We call for help. And then along comes the knight in shining armor and they save us and the whole thing begins again. So we're constantly relearning. We've got to be a victim to get saved, to be happily ever after. So what's the solution? The solution isn't just to stop being the victim and become the hero, because didn't we just decide that being a victim isn't great because the happily ever after doesn't last and being a victim means that you have to say, I've got no power. So if it's not great for us, why do we want to wish it on someone else? If we were to become the hero, then there has to be a victim for us to save. And so we're wishing that powerless place on an individual so that we can get that very temporary high, the happily ever after that maybe lasts an hour or a day or a week before we then have to go and save somebody else. So what we do is we just notice. That's all coaching ever asks at the very beginning. Whenever I start working with a client, we just begin to notice what's happening in their life. So what's happening in your life? When do you find yourself going, I need to be saved right now because I need that fix. I need that fix of someone showing me that I'm the princess because they're prepared to come and rescue me. I need that fix of, I really just don't want to do it right now. I want someone else to come and do it for me. Whatever the fix is, just notice. Notice when you put your hand up and you say, help me, save me. I'm a victim. Just notice. And in that moment, when you notice, you can just acknowledge, I'm looking for a happily ever after right now. So you know that that's something that you want. And if you wanna take a step further, 
If you want to go beyond that noticing that you're being a victim, that noticing that you really want that happily ever after, you can then ask yourself, how could I give myself that happily ever after right now? Maybe it's to take a break. Maybe it's to make yourself a cup of tea. Maybe it's to make a plan for something that you want to do. Whatever it is, there's always an opportunity in the moment to lay down the, the role of the victim and to just say, how could I give myself that happily ever after in this moment right now? And if you need help, if you need help to learn how to notice, if you need help to learn how to bring about that happily ever after, then you know I'm here. So wishing you all the best for your day. Take these gems, see how you can incorporate them into your life. Much love for the week ahead. And as always, I will be here next Monday.